orange balls. All right, everybody, welcome back. This is PG and Jam Jam, and this is gonna be what part 18 of our Dark Souls 2 walkthrough, somewhere around there. All right, so in this episode, we are going to take on the Scorpion S. And she, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those bosses where fighting it one on one is not that difficult, but she is obviously a sorcerer, which means using magic, not that effective against her. So our main means of attack is generally useless. Yeah. So I saw a summon sign, so I clicked it real quick. And sucking dick for money apparently? I don't know, I'm just showing people the taunts, I don't know. Why not? Yeah, wave him like a little faggot. Look at him, look how, look how much friend we are. We're such friends. You're jealous. I am. Cause yeah. it's not me. Alright, so this is how the fight kind of starts, you know? She's over there casting these huge dumb spells with me. You apparently already died. Yeah, yeah. WHAT THE SHIT?! Oh, oh, wow, oh. Guess you don't know fucking everything now, do you? What does it have two tails? I don't know, because it loves the character tail. I don't fucking know. I guess. I don't fucking know. Alright, so it's a big number for me to cast spells at you. That shit is not impossible to dodge, but is highly... I, I would just say fuck it, don't bother. You let one of them hit you, the other ones don't hit you. You just get up and heal. Alright, so even though my spells are generally useless, I'm just gonna fucking spam the shit out of these spells. Oh man, I really thought that was gonna one shot me. When that hit me, I was like, well, it's time to stop. Um, what's cool about this fight is that you can actually knock her tails off. It doesn't really do much, except once those tails do come off, you can actually get behind her and attack her. Alright, so... The way I've learned to dodge this attack right here... The, uh, the best way to do it is to lure her so that she's on the opposite side of the arena than you. And then just kind of run at her as she's burrowing towards you. And then just jump. And she'll pop up a couple feet behind you. It works most of the time. It really just involves knowing where she is while you're running. Which can be kind of disorienting. I... I... Like, look how fucking pathetic my character is against me. This, this is a build that would be super easy. Or this boss, I could say, would be super easy against most characters, but right now my mage is so weak. They're lucky with any two gifts. Well, alright, I just knocked one of the tails off, but anyway. I just think, you know, like that boss fight isn't, isn't what it could be. Um, alright, so our little buddy here, he has to go home. He can't keep, uh, keep following us. That's fine. Nobody loves him anyway. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, so, now it's time to explore. I do love the areas in Dark Souls 2. The one thing I was not ready for was, right after this boss fight, you have to fight three very different enemies in one small area and I totally fucking forgot about them. Sounds like Dark Souls. The first one is going to be a rusted Mastodon Knight. That's him right there, that giant mass of person. Oh man. Yeah, she's a big fucking elephant. He's adorable! Uh, no, he's not. He I want tries to fucking rape me with his smell. I want him. I want him inside me. That's not okay. No. No. Get some of that snout. Who doesn't want to get snout in their life? Apparently you don't. I don't. Yeah, it's because it's probably cold. That is not what we need in our lives. That's exactly what we need in our lives. Okay, so, Mastodon Knight, not that difficult. 
It does suck to get hit by that though. Enemy 2 is the first time we're going to... I think, yeah, this is the first time we fought one of these guys. It's a, uh, they're called Gwimmern or Gwimmer or whatever the fuck they are. Starts with a G. They're basically gnomes. They're just unaverageably tall gnomes if you ask me, but anyway. They die, they always drop you something. It's always useless. Anyway. And last but not least, we're gonna have to fight this treasure chest. When you fight a treasure chest? Fucking mimic. Oh. Hey, mimic. Oh my. Oh. And they're, yeah, they're fucking scary in this game. In Dark Souls, they were funny. Dark Souls 2, nightmare fuel. <laughs> okay, so the, uh, the little cave on my right, uh, we're not gonna go in there because it's basically just a, a PvP area, pretty much. The minute you go in there, uh, you get summoned to someone else's world pretty much every other step to get murdered so that they can get items. Yeah, it's, um, I would say if you are the host in that area, you have like a 90% chance to win because all the enemies in that area that you open and unlock will fight for you. So, you know, somebody invades, they have to fight all of those enemies without being able to heal. And, and, fight you. and fight you. Assuming that you don't just walk up and backstab them for shits and giggles. I wouldn't, but, you know. I think the only way that I've gotten through that with my strength build, uh, I got summoned into someone else's world, and there was like 10 or 12 enemies in there, and I just ran straight for the host and just clubbed him. Like a little baby seal. Yeah, pretty much. I wouldn't, I wouldn't encourage it as a strategy, but it was highly effective. Slapping the Google Glass in his face. We're not talking about that. Oh, Bearer of the Mary. Seek, seek, yes, we cannot. We can. We, we should. No, we shouldn't. It's not okay. Yes, we could, but no, we shouldn't. It's like going backwards on a highway. You can, but you shouldn't. Be fun as shit, though. No, it wouldn't be. Yeah, it would. Why? Because you're going backwards on the interstate. I said highway. Either way, they're the same fucking thing. No, they're not. One's harder to spell. Huh. That's because it's in California. California, eh? Oh, I'm Living sorry. In Los I, Angeles. I forgot how amazing the public schooling was in Kentucky. Huh. What an honor student we have. He knows how to read and write. I almost dropped out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Mr. Teacher, ma'am? You want me to not have sex with my cousin and say, read? Did you say Mr. Teacher, ma'am? Yes, I did. Because that's what I feel like Kentucky is. A bunch of contradictions and slight racism. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. <laughs> to a T. Oh, my why is this what we always end up doing? Because it's your only go-to. No, I want to talk about the game. Okay, let's talk about the game. Are you, okay, so we're back in this area. They both respawn, easy enough to fight. Where's the Google Glass? There is no Google Glass. I mean, I'm using that fucking useless spell. <laughs> Look at it. this so much. Look at it. Yeah, it's like I'm throwing snowballs at his dick. Just no, get away, you bully. <laughs> I'm just gonna come over here and it's, <laughs> that tickle stop it. It's 2014, stop the bullying. You won't, because he's way bigger than me, so that's pretty much all he knows. But he's trying to just like dick slap you with his snout. That's what he wants to do. He wants to rape me. That's pretty much it. With this weak character, I don't really blame him. I just tell you walk to kill people wobble. Weevils wobble, but they do not fall down. They can't. It's impossible. They're like slinkies. Oh, oh, hold on. You're gonna love this. Look at this gnome outfit. Yeah. It's a 
the big dumb marshmallow suit. You, you look like you're an armadillo. I, I'm totally okay with that actually. Boo, armadillo. Boo, armadillo. Boo. What are you doing? <laughs> what is that? Is that your one hit single fucking armadillo man? Yeah. By the jamsters? Yeah. Yeah. And the, don't forget the don't forget the peas. No. You're the fucking worst person today. I might as well be recording with a fucking squirrel in my room right now. Just, just a bunch of background noise. <laughs> Like, like, you, like you turn you turn your room into the bat cave and you just yeah got, like you just hear like my fucking shades getting rustled as it tries to fight its way to freedom. A, a it's fan blowing at them. It's chewing its way through my fucking recliner and shit. For some reason, there's too much electricity going into your lamp, so the bulb is buzzing. Yeah, yeah. Just a bunch of dumb background noise and like squirrel cheeps, and then at the very end, you just hear me scream as it finally turns on me. <laughs> That's exactly, to a T, what it is to record with you today. Do you understand that? I like how you quoted me. Yeah, I did. Oh, 2014, stop the bullying. Okay, so this big dumb fucking gnome throws axes at me. I wanted to dodge them, but I'm a mage, so I'm afraid of what kind of damage they might Damn do. Damn it! It's not, it's kind of just a big biking axe. I mean, tomahawks aren't usually bigger than people. Well, my argument for that is Star Wars. Okay. And ah! Yeah. Get fucked! Yeah, I went back and got that later. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother doing it on camera. Uh, I think we dropped, like, uh, one single thing and one little large Titanite shard. I don't remember. Don't they normally drop, like, one of almost everything? Almost. No, but that would be awesome. Uh, they usually drop two items. And they're usually different. Or, if you're really lucky, you'll get like two Titanite shards and like one mundane or something like that. Um, generally, whatever you need, it will not drop. I don't know how the game knows, but it fucking knows. Oh, he almost fell! I really wanted him to fall, because I thought it would be funny. But gnomes have surprisingly good balance, which brings us right back to the Weevil Wobble. It's the fact that he's not a drunk. Uh, I guess. I mean, would you blame him? Look at him. He's like, why am I the tallest midget? Life makes no sense. I'm the world's most giant, he's giant. Mm. They always fucking drop something, and it's always useless. Then why do you pick it up? Because I can't not pick it up. It's like Dark Souls OCD. Like armor sets, I don't need them, but I want all of them. That's fair. Because what if I fight someone that's so terrible that I can literally walk away from them, change armor sets, walk back up to them, and convince them they're fighting someone else? That would be... that would be funny. I don't know what would be better than that, but that's what it would be. And you can just deal with it. So... Camera tricks. Yay! I can see the pots and stuff. No. Alright, so this is like the village of the damned, I guess. I don't know. There's a bunch of cuties. We got Farmer Dan. What really is weird to me is that there are no female villagers. So this explains why they try to rape me. They're all sexually frustrated? Oh, look, it's Farmer Stan! Yeah, let's go with Pat. Farmer Pat. So we have Farmer Dan, Stan, and Pat. Alright, just like they do. So we all of them. That was... Game on. Well, who do we have so far? Farmer Dan, Stan, and Pat. Alright, who's the next guy gonna be right? Hmm. I don't, I don't know how I, I gotta get a feel for him. I see him cutting. No, he's literally over there hacking up dead bodies. So I'll call him Farmer Dick. Wow. Oh, 
Why would why would he be <laughs> sticky? Cause he's hacking up bodies. So that just makes you sticky? Yeah, you try getting all that blood off of you. Why is the blood sticky? The fact that you're trying to wrap your head around the stupid shit that I'm saying is just fantastic. You no, know, I'm just like, I feel like there's different standards in different states. And so like, where you're from, you were probably gonna go to like NASA. <laughs> Well, but in the real world, you probably don't even know what NASA is. That's that burger joint down the road, right? It is. Okay. They sell jet fuel and burgers. You hear this bullshit that Pluto's a planet again? I don't. I don't. I don't follow. You don't no, follow I don't know shit. I don't, yeah, I don't follow. Don't, what's happening in the universe? I barely know what's going on in Uganda. What the fuck's going on in Uganda? They're all drunk. Oh yeah. Forgot the war gym. Oh, oh there's a pig, oh. by the way. Look at this. Look at all these animals. Oh my god, it's oinkers! And uh, oinkers is pretty much immune to magic, so we're gonna have to cut oinkers ball. Blasting in the face with magic. So they drop, uh, they drop you a little smooth, silky stones, which is pretty nice, I guess. Give me smooth, give me silky. Yes, yeah. What? I made blue. Wait, what is made on you? That it's orange? Ooh. People are just walking around with orange faces. Yeah, the same thing. Which are the making crazy? Oh, it's farmer. They got. There you go. Farmer they got. All right, so go ahead and name your fucking farmers, cause that's all of them, I think. Farmer Dan, Dan, fucking they got. Out of order, but I. Either way, the that's all guess. the names. By the way, there's a lot more later, and I want you to continue naming them. Okay. All right, so just, they're just burning bodies to stay warm. That's normal. I don't know. I guess that's normal. I like, All these, right. I like how these last like, few videos turn into a bastardized walkthrough. How are they bastardized? I'm getting items. I'm showing people where shit is. Oh no, the, the videos are fantastic. It's just it's, us. It's us. It's us. We're the problem. Like, well, I want you to realize that I'm the one playing, so I'm the I'm, I'm contributing. Look at all this contribution. I broke the shit out of those boxes. You did break the shit out of those boxes. By the way, these fucking five human effigies are so nice. Just free human effigies. I fucking love it. Alright, so we're coming up to the end of the video. I will show you where to summon uh, our new best friend in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye!